Woohoo! There are a few new climbs. We've been advised go for it, but don't dig holes in the track. Yeah, that's good. You're over the tree route now. Property owners usually don't like erosion wrecking their slopes. And avoiding wheel spin is always a plus for us. It means working harder to find traction and thinking our way up technical climbs instead of using brute force. As always, you want maximum weight on that rear wheel to create a big tyre patch. You can see Scott is barely touching the ground with his boot. Too much weight through your leg, you lose a lot of traction. Slipping the clutch is a critical skill. Too many riders just drop the clutch and start digging holes instead of going forward. So don't rush everything. Stop and think your way through. Otherwise, you will wear yourself out way too fast. Be ready to drop that bike fast to avoid coasting yeah. backwards. See our video about hill climb recovery, how to safely stop and turn around on steep slopes. <laughs> Let's see some traditional Romanian dancing there, Whoa. Brad. Scott uses his clutch to hold the bike in place. Check what is in front of your rear wheel. Scott hits an exposed tree root here, but wasn't aware of it. <coughs> Clean me! <coughs> There's nothing wrong with getting off to push your bike or lift it onto a better line. The best hard enduro riders do it, <laughs> you can too. Be ready to throw the bike. Too many riders don't let go of the bars, loop the bike out, and it can cartwheel all the way back down. Don't be afraid to drop your bike. Scott could possibly dig a trench here. <laughs> and push the bike up, but it will wreck the track fast for others. Yeah, she's very off camber here. Watch carefully. You can see Scott applying his weight to the bike on the seat and foot pegs. This can help give a brief moment of traction that can also bounce you up and out of a hole in the track. Great leg paddling here keeps his weight on that rear wheel, clutch slipping wow. to avoid wheel spin. Unstoppable now. Leg paddling is a great skill, sitting or standing. Jeff lightly dabs the ground for balance, but keeps all his weight on that rear wheel. Pivot turns save lots of energy when you need to change direction or make a tight turn. Very occasionally, you can use trees to help get up. <laughs> I hook my left leg on this tree to get that little bit of extra help on this steep section. It's an impossible climb for us, so Scott will need to drop or go to the bike. Nobody likes to deliberately throw their bike away, but on very steep slopes, it can be the safest option. And sometimes the bike might just make it to the top. See our training vid about ghosting. I don't think it's going to happen, Jeff. We've got a pile of relevant training vids. See our playlist of hill climb training vids on our YouTube channel.